Imagine looking at a campaign and you got 30 leads, 40 leads, 50, 50 plus, plus leads into your client's account. But then later that day, you open up your phone and you see the worst words possible from a client. Hey, pause the campaign, we need to talk. And you look at your phone, you load up Facebook Ads Manager again, you check your lead ads, you check your campaigns, and you're crushing it. You're getting so many leads. What could possibly be the problem? Look, this is the sad reality of a lot of marketing agencies. In fact, I've been there myself. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I was super confused. I've lost many clients this way, where on my end, I think that we're crushing it. And then I speak to them and there's something wrong. And in this video, I'm going to show you not just how to set up lead ads, but how to get profitable lead ads. How to set up profitable campaigns for your clients so they actually stay. Now look, the amateur sits down and just delivers leads to clients. Here's a name, here's a phone number, here's an email, go have fun, go enjoy. And for you, you're seeing you got 30 leads, 40 leads, 50 leads, but the client, when they actually log in and when they try to call people, they have a 30% response rate, maybe a 40% response rate, 50%. So half of your leads that you generated don't even freaking respond. Meanwhile, on the other hand, the professional sits down and they track leads, not based off of quantity, meaning how many leads came in, but off of the leads that actually booked appointments. And not only that, but how many leads actually responded. And not only that, but you're optimizing your campaigns based around what actually makes the clients money. And that's exactly what we're going to cover. Do you think your clients will stay longer if you get them higher quality leads? Do you think your clients are going to love you way more if you actually deliver them leads that not only respond, but book appointments that are interested in their services. And then you can take those leads and optimize your campaigns based around what's making them money. Obviously, yes. So let me go in and show you how we do this. All right, so first thing you want to do here is load up the Facebook ads manager. We have to create the lead ad. So this is one of my agency ad accounts that we use to run ads to our company. And this one specifically has actually generated us quite a few clients. So let me actually show you a sample campaign. I'll load this up. So you wanna choose a lead campaign right here, right? If you're running lead gen ads, you wanna do instant forms. You could do messenger. We've tested this website. Obviously that's like landing pages and whatnot. Okay, you have your instant form set up. Then when you go inside of the account, so let me show you a sample uh, lead form. So I have quite a bit. Again, this is a live account. It's funny, this video actually that you see on here, like preloaded on here, is actually the video that we used on ads to actually get quite a few clients. Obviously, I'm not gonna play that because of all the people that are gonna steal my videos and steal my scripts. But anyways, if you go inside of this form, let's go into the sample. What you wanna do is create this sample. You wanna do more volume once you set that up you want to ask a couple questions and the way that I like to do it is by avoiding these pre-fill questions right here so you see how, where it says this question please list all services you provide this is a custom question and what you want to do is go in here and just ask the questions right the short answer questions all inside of here so name email phone number this is what most marketing agencies do and then they get these pre-fill information a lot of times this doesn't work the phone numbers don't work a lot of times the emails are outdated so it's not the best way to do it you want people to go in and manually okay put in their name their email their phone number this is going to get you much higher quality leads plus it's going to get you the most updated lead info now you will get less leads meaning your cost per lead will be higher but that's okay because your clients don't care if you get them 50 60 70 150 freaking leads if only four of them respond we want high quality so that's the first thing you're gonna get that set up once you create that lead form and I'm gonna give you more tips in the lead form towards the end of this video as well and how we get this to be super high converting but then you're gonna go into go high level you can go into settings right here and then you're gonna go into integrations and you are going to link up your account right here. So the first thing you have to do is link up the same Facebook page that you're running the lead ads from. So you're gonna hit connect here and you're gonna select your Facebook page from the drop down. It's gonna ask you a couple questions. You're gonna hit connect, connect, 
and then it's going to show up here. Once it shows up in here, you're going to go over to Facebook form field mapping then. So once you see where it says Facebook form field mapping, it'll probably be empty for you. But maybe if you have other lead forms, you'll see them in here and you're not done. Okay. You can't just link it up. You want to go in here and let's just choose, uh, I don't know, random one. Let's choose this one. You're going to hit map fields. And all this does is it links the lead form into go high level. So when you click map fields, it should show the exact questions that you just asked. So what services do you provide? And so essentially you want to create custom fields. Okay. Now, for example, right here, I don't, there's no section for services. So I created a custom field. This isn't my live account, so I might not even have it in here. All right. So I found it right there. Your main services, best phone number to reach you. You're going to select this right here and you're going to link it to phone. And all this does is it takes the lead form info and it ports it into go high level right here. And then phone number. Uh, so we actually had two. Th this is actually interesting. I'm sharing a secret with you that I didn't think I would share. So this is we have a custom lead form that pulls in a phone number, but then we also have a pre fill phone number field that we also link up in here to have a backup phone number in case that first one doesn't work. It automatically pulls their phone number that they have linked to Facebook. So there's a secret hack that I'm sharing with you. So go ahead and link that one. You can create a custom field. Then you're going to hit save. Once you hit save, it should look like this right here. All right. This means that it's fully linked up. Now, if you want to be a true expert and you want to get your clients really good results, you want to do something like this. So I have a calendar that is linked at the end of the lead form. So most people go in here and they say, oh, okay, thanks so much. We'll be in touch with you soon. No, this is completely wrong. Go in here and add a booking option, right? Add a calendar option. And from here, give them something of value. You want to say something like congratulations, your area is available. And then I have some sample content here. Click below to skip the line and book right into our calendar. So of course, this is going to be custom to you. And it's going to be niche specific to you. I'm sure you already know what to put here. Then you have a view website button and then you have the link to the calendar. And now now, when you optimize the campaigns, you can also track with a pixel how many people are actually booking. So when the amateur runs ads, what they do is optimize the campaign performance based around what gets a lot of leads, right? Let's say you have two campaigns. One got 10 leads and one got three leads. So the amateur would take a look at the one that got 10 leads and consider that a win. However, if there's no bookings and no one responded on go high level to that campaign, it is a fail. 10 leads, zero bookings, zero responses. But then you have the other campaign that had three leads and all three people booked and all three people are texting your client. That is the campaign you want to go with, even though that campaign might have leads for $80, $50. These are much higher quality campaigns, especially if they're closing sales. So that's what you want to optimize your campaigns around. Also, real quick, if you want our client getting scripts, our client getting strategies, our outreach, DMs, literally everything A to Z, then you can go ahead and check out the free course in the description. If you want all of our snapshots imported into your account, I'm providing all of that. It's completely free. If you don't have a high level account, then you can sign up for a free 30 day trial down below and I will give you access to everything, sales call recordings, additional services that you can actually offer how to sell those services and how to charge high ticket. Everything is in there. So let's dive back into the video. If you want higher quality leads and if you want your clients to start getting better results, another thing you want to do besides appointment booking, right? And by the way, when I say appointment booking, I don't mean manually going in there and you needing to respond to the leads or you hiring another employee to do that. You can just add in a funnel where all they have is a calendar and on that calendar, people can just manually book themselves. And this could even be a phone call consultation. So your client can look at their calendar instead of them having a bunch of leads in their inbox, they can look at their calendar and see a time that each lead has booked on the client's calendar. Now it's much more efficient for the client and they're going to love you way more. On top of that, what you want to do as soon as the lead comes in is automatically text them. That's the first thing. Create a workflow inside of here, inside of automations that automatically texts the client. Another thing you want to do is set up an automatic text message that goes out to your clients leads. And all it does was say, Hey name, right? So, Hey Susie, thanks so much for submitting your information. We are holding your spot. If you haven't gotten a chance to book a phone call consultation, here's the link. Looking forward to meeting you sample message right there. 
works very well. This will also start a conversation. We've had automated text messages like this, or we've also done the conversational messages as well. Hey, Susie, thanks so much. We just got your info. Can you tell me a little bit more about X, Y, Z, right? Whatever your niche is and whatever your messaging is. Also, you want to have email campaigns and this is super valuable. Take your clients testimonials, take their case studies, take their before and afters, take any kind of social proof that your client has and include them in emails that automatically send to to your leads, right? To your clients' leads, that is. And from there, that's gonna warm up the leads for your clients. So imagine instead of your client cold calling a lead and they said, oh, wow, yeah, I saw this before and after. I saw this testimonial. I saw this case study. And they genuinely are excited to speak to your client. Your client is going to love you also way more because you're giving them higher quality leads. So if you want your clients to stay on longer, you need to view yourself as the professional. Don't just push everything off your plate into the client. Oh, well, they're just bad at sales. Some local business owners or whoever business owners that you work with, if they are bad at sales, try to help them, right? Try to go in and do as much as you can with the automations so they get better and so you can deliver better results. Now, it seems like not many people actually talk about this stuff, about lead quality, about how to get better results. And look, it's not your fault. If you didn't, know this, that's fine. I spent a lot of freaking time trying to figure this stuff out for myself. And there's really no one else teaching this kind of strategy. If you didn't know this, try to implement some of these strategies that I'm talking about here. See how it works for you. See if you can get clients to stay on longer and deliver better results.